NFL Roundup Week 12. I'm Dave Ferry. The day's best matchup lived up to its billing, and Michael Luongo was there. Jalen Hurts' 12-yard touchdown run with 2.37 to go in the overtime gave the Eagles a 37-34 win over the Bills. The touchdown came after Buffalo took a three-point lead on a Tyler Bass 40-yard field goal earlier in the overtime. It was the second touchdown run for Hurts, who also had three touchdown passes. It's definitely been a unique, a unique journey for me, a unique journey, a very unprecedented journey. That is something that um, not many can relate nor compare to. The Ravens put the Chargers offense on ice in a 2010 victory in Los Angeles. Ravens head coach John Harbaugh. Defensively, I think, deserves an extra, extra shout. Uh, that's a really good offense. Uh, the pressure, the coverage, and the turnovers were big. Baltimore didn't allow a TD until Justin Herbert hit Gerald Everett for a three-yard score with 8.32 left. Lamar Jackson put the AFC North leaders ahead for good with a three-yard TD pass to Zay Flowers early in the second quarter. Flowers later sealed the win with a 37-yard TD run after the two-minute warning. Don't look now, but the Broncos are legitimate wildcard threats. Bruce Morton reports. The Broncos won their fifth straight game down in Cleveland 29-12. Russell Wilson led the way, throwing for one touchdown and running for another. We knew that this was going to be a long, drawn-out game. They've they've won a lot of close games, these guys, and they're obviously they've uh, coached extremely well, talented team, um, a lot of great players, and so we had to come out ready to play for our fans and and get this win. The Steelers allowed just 222 total yards in a 16-10 win over the Bengals. Pittsburgh racked up 421 yards, but had just one TD to show for it. Najee Harris's five-yard run that put Pittsburgh ahead 10-7 late in the third quarter. The Steelers settled for three Chris Boswell field goals as Kenny Pickett threw for 278 yards. Felt like every drive we were, you know, having productive drives, uh, moving the ball really well. Jake Browning made his first start since Joe Burrow broke his right wrist throwing for 227 yards and one interception. The Jaguars are closer to a playoff berth. Adam Spillane has details. The Jaguars increased their AFC South lead to two games after beating the Texans 24-21. The Texans had a chance to tie it, but Matt Amendola's 58-yard field goal hit off the crossbar with no time remaining. Jags head coach Doug Peterson. Our guys battled battled for 60 minutes. We knew it was going to be a tough football game. It's a really good, really good football team there in, here in Houston that... that uh, Plays tough, plays hard, and, and plays to the end. And our guys, our guys learned how to. We're learning how to finish. Trevor Lawrence threw for 364 yards and a touchdown for Jacksonville, while C.J. Stroud finished with 304 passing yards and two touchdowns for the Texans. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs spotted the Raiders a 14-0 lead before Kansas City prevailed 31-17. It was big on us to just really get back to the fundamentals, take the short stuff when it's not there, hit the checkdowns, um, and then uh, try to hit, utilize and hit the deep ones when they are there. So uh, it was uh, it was big for us to get that first touchdown drive, and it kind of got the momentum back in our favor. Mahomes was 27 of 34 passing for 200. 98 yards and two touchdowns, tying the game with a three-yard toss to Justin Watson just before halftime. Isaiah Pacheco put KC ahead with his second one-yard scoring run of the afternoon. Mahomes added a 39-yard scoring strike to Rasheed Rice in the fourth quarter. Rice had eight catches for 107 yards. Elsewhere, Jonathan Taylor ran for two scores, and the Colts came up with a late turnover in their third straight win, 27-20 against the Buccaneers. The Titans stopped the three-game skid as Derrick Henry ran for two scores and a 17-10 decision over the Panthers. Bijan Robinson grabbed a fourth-quarter touchdown pass from Desmond Ritter as the Falcons beat the Saints 24-15, leaving both teams tied for first in the NFC South. The Rams were 37-14 winners over the Cardinals behind Matthew Stafford's four scoring passes, and the Giants scored 10 points off turnover before the Patriots missed a 35-yard field goal with two seconds left to give New York a 10-7 win. I'm Dave Ferry, AP Sports.